Hi everybody, today we will be updating a uh, Drupal based website to the newer version of website. So basically a situation in which uh, everyone who runs a Drupal based website has to face from time to time in order to have the update up to date website. Uh, it so happens that my youtubejunkie.com tutorial website is uh, outdated, it's uh, based on a Drupal core 7.15 which was already is out of date and today we will use this opportunity to simply update it and uh, show you I will show you guys how to do it this uh, is very simple thing to do the update you just have to stick to few uh, particular steps and if you do so you will be fine first okay so first thing you you want to do is you have to log into the administrator uh, account uh, for your website as you can see I have already logged in I, I have the admin menu and uh, two basic things you should do before the update and before actually any changes to your website so you should back, uh, uh, do a backup of your website so you have to backup the database and you have to backup the files and you should put the website to the maintenance mode let us assume at this point that I have already done the backup and now I will, I will be uh, I will put the website into the maintenance mode so I go to the configuration tab maintenance and okay let's put it into sleep it's done I will refresh the website on, on my other browser to see if it's in the maintenance and there it is so it's a good play it's a good point to start so let's go back I am in I am in my administrator account I go to modules the, uh, as you can see my website is 7.15 I go to the update tab and there you go uh, here you can see that my Drupal core is outdated, it's 7.15, it, the newest is 7.17 uh, unfortunately Drupal doesn't support updating this uh, Drupal core man uh, automatically so you have to do it manually so at this point what you do, you enter this link and you have to download uh, locally to your computer this uh, the Drupal version that you want to update your, ver your uh, website to so you update the packed uh, file, you unpack it, and this is uh, and with this unpacked website you will start. I have actually downloaded already this uh, this package. So this folder contains the pure 7.17 uh, Drupal core, and we will update it. So. Step one, back up your website and put it into maintenance mode. Step two, step two, <laughs> uh, all, uh, also crucial, uh, be sure that uh, when you start the update, you are actually logged uh, into your website as an administrator. Because if you're not, then you will have problem with performing the update. So. Uh, I have backed up my website and I am here I, and my I have opened uh, my website in administrator mode okay so this is step two this is quite important that you are logged in as administrator step three uh, you have to copy uh, the files with a newer core to your website so this is uh, FTP client uh, on the right side uh, I can see the current uh, files of my website on the left side I have this folder with a uh, newer core and what I do I will override the files but not all of them uh, you want to skip these two files which are responsible for some fancy stuff with the website don't, tu don't touch them simply uh, I also want to skip the robots files and robots txt which uh, uh, this uh, file tells the robots that uh, you know run from 
variety of uh, websites like Google or Yahoo and uh, this file contains lines that tell these bots uh, where they should not look into for example so I have uh, I have modified my robots.txt files quite many times I don't want to override it with this pure version from the core so I'll also skip it so uh, these two files the robots and also the sites folder you don't want the sites folder to override your current sites okay so you take everything from the package except the sites folder these two files and the robots txt so, and what I'm going to do now I am simply going to override the content the current content of my website it's overriding it will take a little while I'll get back to you when it's done alright so with my super fast internet uh, I did upload all the files so they are they are all there and uh, well there are like two steps remaining and uh, we are done with this update so let me open my browser and what I want to do I want to update I, I want to open from my browser the update uh, PHP file okay so the domain of my website and update PHP and for this step it, it, it is important that previously I was logged in as administrator okay let me open it and there you go you have the information side from the Drupal and they are asking you just to be sure that you backed up your website and that you put it in maintenance mode but uh, we actually did point one two and three uh, I did show you how to do the point number three and point number one and two you just have to trust me that I did it and okay I will simply perform the steps by clicking continue and I will apply the pending changes there you go you have the progress bar and uh, and we are waiting waiting and there you go the website has been updated if I click on the front page uh, the, the Drupal will bring me to the uh, to my main website and I'm still logged in as administrator as you can see we are still in the maintenance mode but the website seems to be working uh, let me go to the modules and uh, yeah I did click that too fast uh, <coughs> in the in the modules uh, tab you can see that my website is currently already updated all the core uh, modules are in version 7.17 so we have successfully performed the update uh, I have some information that, that there, are some, there are some other updates remaining but uh, they are not the uh, they are not the core updates they are just some modules updates so if I want them I can just mark them and download them and Drupal will perform these updates automatically but core update we had to do manually so that's it I will remove the maintenance mode so I go to configuration maintenance and I'll unmark this checkbox this is done so I'll simply refresh it and see that everything works super fine uh, which is great it seems to be working fine so uh, yeah this is simply how the update of to newer Gr Drupal core looks like uh, basically if you keep all your things in your template and your template uh, always is located in the sites folder which you do not overwrite when updating to newer core then everything you have done will be transferred to the newer version 
However, if you do changes that involve changing the core, then you'll have to remember these things and merge them to the newer version of the core. But this way of development in Drupal is uh, not does not belong to good practices. You should keep your changes strictly to your templates. Of course, it doesn't mean you cannot do it. You can do it, but then you just make uh, will make your life miserable when you will uh, when you will be updating to newer core. So, just to summarize, I have written down these steps for you guys. Uh, th these are the steps you have to stick to if you want to uh, perform your update uh, successfully. You have to back up your site, so you back up the database and you back up the files simply by copying them from the FTP ser server to your local machine. You put the site into maintenance mode so that your visitors will not be unpleasantly surprised when they see that there's something wrong with the site. They will simply see straight away that there's some uh, work on the site because they will receive the communicate. Uh, you download the newer core and you unpack it. Uh, then you make sure that uh, you are logged into your website as the administrator and you override the current uh, website files with the files from the uh, uh, Drupal package uh, with the following exceptions so you skip the robot.txt files file the sites folder and uh, the HTA access and uh, GIT ignore files right then you open your website and uh, you open the update PHP file you process with the steps that Drupal provides you if everything is fine you remove the maintenance mode and you enjoy your website working on the uh, updated uh, core and that's it this is very simple and very fast uh, when you do it once or twice it will go really fast so I hope you uh, liked it and somebody will benefit from it and well hear you guys next time